there needs to be a larger perspective and an amalgamation of a lot of knowledge. And a database has been started um, for MS, but this database needs to be started for all autoimmune illness. One of the things um, is education. Um, knowledge is a special tool to learn how to cope with this. Because if you don't have the knowledge, you won't know what to do, what's going to happen to you in the long run. Also, I have my friends and my family that has been very supportive to me, and they're always there. And also, um, I go to a support group. I talk to people who can relate to what I'm talking to, and I started a message board online. I made so many wonderful friends that way. I guess if you're really lucky, you will have some, whether it's... Um, Spouse, friend, relative, significant other. Someone who, even if they don't understand and can't feel what you're going through, is there for you. I was fortunate in that I had a husband who was. Other than that, I think it has to come from within. Because... If you yourself can't come to some sort of closure, I don't think that you can expect that others are going to be able to sustain the kind of support that you are looking for, maybe that you deserve. I found that when I was interviewing women for this documentary, that was sort of like I was building my own network of support. Because even though maybe they've had a specific diagnosis and it took them all much longer to get there than it should have. They had some of the same experiences as I did. Family. My family. I want to be there for my family. That makes me want to go on. I never have someone the way that I love like you. Oh, that was oh. I've learned that life is very precious. I learned that um, it's very important to have people around you that care for you, are very supportive for you. And I'm just, I'm learning now how to cope and stay strong and not let this take over and get the better of me. And if you don't have nobody to fight for you, you're gonna have to fight for yourself. I think it's important for you to become your own advocate. Maybe it's because I am by nature an at and have been an advocate and know that it takes a lot of energy and time and persistence and patience and nudging and chutzpah. Don't feel sorry for yourself because it'll get in the way of you getting the information. Keep moving and maintain your enthusiasm for life because this will squelch that if you don't make an extra effort. And I just pray and prayer is good so you can see God is good, you know. So that's what I do every day. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't allow yourself to feel victimized by this. Don't allow yourself to um, lay down and, and cry or whimper over it. I think that you have to, at some point or another, say, what is it that I can do? And forget what it is that you can no longer do. The most important thing is that doctors need to talk to each other. That is the most important thing. And there has to be more in the way of, of going after government to be held more responsible for this. We have a lot of policies about you know, how to deal with people who need wheelchair access at their jobs or, or to get you know, onto transportation. And these are great things, but we don't really have policies that help people who just chronically don't feel well. So it's my last day in Maine. Um, been doing a little bit of sightseeing. I'm 
last night a little after one o'clock in the morning so I guess it's more like this morning um, I edited the last major sequence or last rough cut of a major sequence so I don't have a rough cut of the whole film but I do have um, a rough outline that can help me get that rough cut so at least I can walk away with that material done and um, of course then I need to add some of the b-roll to complete the profile of all the women that were interviewed some action shots I'd like to do some more with music because you know music is a big part of of me it's something that I love and I think it would add a lot to the film but I'm just really excited that I finally have enough to feel like I've really moved this forward I am closer to the the end and so it may be that this project does go into its 11th year but I think I can confidently say that it will not go another 10. Um, and also as I was walking around Maine and I was you know talking to people and I told them I was here working on a film and um, they asked what it was about and I told them and I've got to tell you so many people stopped me and said you know I have an autoimmune condition that they can't treat or that they can't conclusively diagnose or that they can't um, control or that it took forever to diagnose um, or I have a sister who's struggling with an autoimmune condition and she has some skin issues and it's changed the way she feels about herself it's changed um, her ability to have a job so I just feel really energized that this project needs to get out there people are waiting for it um, and I have it so I really hope that the women um, aren't disappointed that the project you know has changed uh, direction a little bit and that it's taken so much longer to get to the end you know th than I thought it would I, I hope that they're up there feeling good about it um, and that they're resting in peace the ones who have passed away and maybe now I can actually live in peace